Hello, David at Marine Max Lake of Hacon. Today I'm taking the opportunity to show you the joystick on a 290 SDX. This is the same system that's on all dual outboards with joystick poly. I'm going to spin the camera around and show you some features. So 2021 290 SDX. There's our joystick control. We have twin 250 Mercury Verados on the back. So I'm going to try to do this. Rotate the, the camera here a little bit. Engine's running. Boat's in neutral. Whatever I do with the joystick, the boat's just going to do. So for example, I'm just going to move the joystick to the left. You can see the engines will dance. The bow's lagging a little bit, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a turn. And the boat just straightens out. Whatever I do with the joystick is what the boat is doing. If I want to spin on the axis that I'm at, I simply give the joystick a twist. And no different than two sticks. You can see I'm spinning right on my axis. When I'm done spinning, I just simply go the other way. If I want the boat to go straight back, I just use the joystick straight back. Again, the bow's lagging, so I'm going to give it a little turn. And then straight back. Another very interesting feature on joystick is skyhook. So the boat's in neutral. Simply going to hit skyhook. You can hear there's a tone letting everybody on the boat know that it's on autopilot and keeping us in one spot. I'm away from the helm. The engines are doing exactly what they need to do to keep me right in this spot. This is ideal for waiting for a fuel dock. I'm just gonna watch this for a minute. And they're just gonna go in and out and back and forth and do whatever they need to do to keep us here. I think that's enough for the beeping. So I'm gonna turn off the joystick by simply engaging the throttles. You can see it tells me on the helm that I now have control of the boat. The joystick is only for slow maneuvering. If I was actually gonna get up on plane, I would need to use the twin sticks. Okay. Some other interesting features about the controller right here is we have sync. Sync will allow the engine's computer electronically to stay together. So if I were to put one engine forward at 2200 RPMs and the other one at 1800, it's gonna average the two together. I personally don't care for the sync when I'm using the joystick. I want engine, each engine to do what they wanna do. All right, another option would be one lever. If I hit the one lever, I can take this right side lever and throw it back or forward and it's out of the way. Now I can control both engines in sync with one throttle lever. Up on the front of the controller, you'll see there's up and down buttons. This is if you wanted to lift one engine up or down independently. The trim buttons are right here. If I use these buttons, each en both engines will react the same. There's a lot more features that I can show you with the joystick when the time is appropriate. This is a quick overview of how it works. That's all for now, and I look forward to talking to you the next time. Thank you.